Tarapal, where 30 police personnel have been killed in various bandit attacks in Tarapal State. This was disclosed by the State Police Book Command during an interview with TVC News. And our correspondent, Olabi Adinusi, filed in this report. The altercation between Fulani herders and Kutip farmers has now degenerated into a full-blown war in southern Taraba State. The crisis have claimed over 250 lives with property worth several millions of naira destroyed and 25 villages deserted. This crisis had also resulted in the infiltration of the state by Fulani Maruders, who have taken over the forest in the southern senatorial district, killing innocent citizens at will. Actually, over three months ago, we have received massive and aggressive attacks from uh, Fulani and struck uh, bandits. In fact, they have cleared over, over 30 villages. The state police command is counting its losses as many of its personnel have been cut down in the battle to restore peace in the troubled areas. We lost some of our men, like at Tati in Takum. We lost uh, one of our own uh, men there when there was an attack and eventually military suffered greater losses than us. The member representing Takum 1 constituency in the State House of Assembly, Garba Ajia, is calling for an end to the war and for the state government to set up a commission of inquiry to unravel those behind the crisis. From the information available in the public domain, even on the social media regarding the crisis, I want to call on the Taraba state government to set up a commission of inquiry into this crisis with a view unravel some of the facts and issues surrounding the crisis, which many are tagging it as politically motivated. Several people have been killed. Many have lost uh, their properties. And uh, several of the villages around there are deserted. This is very unfortunate. This is not an acceptable thing, especially uh, in communities that have been largely agrarian. Some individuals, including politicians, have been fingered as readily aggravating the crisis further. We want to urge the, the, the government to take more appropriate measures. Mr. Ajia commends the Catholic Church and other churches that have taken in some of the IDPs. The state government had already sent relief materials to the displaced persons camps hosting over 120,000 victims. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, and other local and international aid organizations are expected to intervene in the slowly building humanitarian crisis in the area before the situation gets out of hand completely.